Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog again and of course we are back in interviewing more cabin crew members and we have no less than Ina Ramos here Hi. with me and we are here right now at Top Flight Academy Ita yeah. so for those who want to become pilots in the future please do come by Top Flight Academy here at the Salem Complex Domestic Road Pasay City all right. So how are you, Mon? It's been Grabe. a while since the last time that we had this, no? Exactly. It's been a while since we had this vlog together, right? I know. And... It's been a while. How mm. long have you been here? It's been a while. I think and we were in Alabang when yes, we did yes. it. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, in West, at Westgate yata. Yeah, Westgate, West oh. Yes, uh, of course. Oh. And we're back here. Yes, I just came from Isabella. <laughs> I rode Cebu Pacific for the first time. Oh, how was your Cebu Pacific ah, experience? Ah, grabe. Iba. Alam mo, from the... Airplane. <laughs> 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 yeah. mga yan. Well, actually, it's like this. Uh, I, I would, I would really say na parang sobrang seamless no from check-in, yeah. boarding, ang sa makarating ako sa destination no. Ang dali lang ng lahat. It was so hassle-free. It was fun kasi yes. uh, alam mo parang relax lang sila, relax lang yung mga crew. At tapos parang may pag-games pa sa dulo, yes. ba? Kaso I was. I was half awake na nung time na yun, so I wasn't able to participate. Pero, pero dyan naririnig ko yung mga tanong. Actually, alam ko yung mga sagot. Pero uh, I just don't have the energy to raise my hand. But it would have been fun if I did participate. Pero I would really say, overall, it was a very pleasant experience. Flying with Cebu Pacific. Yes. And I really want to say hi to those crew na naging crew ko. Si Maki. <laughs> yes, isa, isa na siya. Si yeah. So nasa story ko actually yun eh. Actually, nasa uh, TikTok ko. Nakakatuwa lang talaga sa so, Sabi nga niya eh, that nagulat daw siya, nasa TikTok na daw siya eh. Because some of the crew members, who are maybe your followers also, told him. Yes, oh wow. So, I guess you have followers also from Cebu Pacific, right? Actually, dami agad likes nung ano na yun. Nakatag lang naman na Cebu Pacific. And yet, grabe talaga ang follow sa Cebu Pacific. Talaga naman. Yes. Oh, ah, dami agad nag-like. Exactly. Impressive, actually. At siya mukha kasi marami kang followers also, who are now with Cebu Pacific. Because... They took your advice Ay, on becoming a cabin crew and now I mean, they're here flying for Cebu Pacific. Okay, maybe we could talk about that again no? yes. uh, on becoming a cabin crew and what do you actually need to become one. Correct. There are a lot of misconceptions about becoming a cabin crew that you have to be a tourism graduate. That's uh, one thing. Okay. Which is, walang base course ang pagiging flight attendant. Yes. You can actually become a dentist kung gusto mo, uh, or become a lawyer kung gusto mo, and still fly in uh, with an airline. Uh, kumbaga, you don't have to finish a particular course mm -hmm. to become a flight attendant. Actually, uh, or a particular strand for that uh, matter. No? Strand? Uh, Alam mo, ngayon ko lang narinig yung term na yan. Dear people are asking me, oh, oh. ano yung strand para yung maging ABM, flight attendant? Mga, yeah, ito na, ito na yung mga kinukuha ng, o pinipili ng mga senior high school. Oh, okay. So it's strand. It's yeah. called strand. Oh, oh. Thank you for informing me. <laughs> Pag dito na. So, parang sinasabi nila na, na kailangan ito yung kunin mong strand para madali lang pagka nag-tourism ka. Yeah. Yet, so again, it's not about the course or the strand that you are going to take. No, uh, you, how much you want to become a flight attendant, yun talaga. Okay. Dung tayo magsisimula, no? And uh, kung ano ba talaga yung core na pagiging yes. flight attendant. Of course, ang sinasabi ko naman din palagi dyan, first of all, communication skills. Yes. Yeah. Well, kasama dyan yung confidence. Kasi communication. If you have communication skills, kasama na dyan yung confidence. Madali na makipag-usap sa mga tao, madali sumagot sa mga questions. Pangalawa, social intelligence. Your social skills. Uh, how you deal with other people. No? Um, kasi sabi ko nga, this job is a very humbling job. Yes. And, uh, this is not something na... Kapag naging FA ka, glamoroso ka, may ere ka na, no. Hmm. no uh, may mga pasahero kami na sobrang yayaman. Yes. Ay, maksya, may mga naka-business class, naka-first class, yung uh, mga ganyan, di ba? Siyempre, pagka-cabin to ka, you meet all sorts of people. Meron correct. talagang sobrang yayaman. Uh -huh. At meron din kami mga mga pasahero na nagsanla pa ng kalabaw wow. or ng property nila para lang makasakay mm -hmm. sa amin. And do you think we should treat them any less? Ano, of course not. The more that you have to treat these people, better, no? Kasi, kasi sila yung talaga yung nagpagod 
to actually get this or nag or nag uh, risk a lot of things just to get a seat sa plane. Yes. So sila talaga yung deserve lalo na na masilbihan ng maayos. Yes, no? Hindi sila yung mamata, mamatahin o ano pa mga. That's why I'm saying this is a very humble job. You should have this kind of thinking na kahit sino is dapat silbihan ng maayos. Okay? Because that is the second uh, kung baga parang uh, purpose natin yeah. sa flight service provider. No? In flight service provider. And of course, yung pinakauna namin is yung pagiging selfless namin is uh, in-flight uh, safety professionals. So, Correct. in case uh, something goes wrong yeah. sa flight, automatic, alam mo na lahat ang gagawin mo, lahat ng steps, you know na what you have to take. Mm -hmm. no? Alam yung teamwork na kailangan nyo gawin. A lot of things is at stake sa mga gagawin mo, sa mga kilos mo, pagka nagkaroon ng emergency. So, mm -hmm. ang dami rin nakadepende sa iyo niyan kung sakali. So, that's the kind of mindset that you have to have also na, na kaya mo, kaya mo mag-handle ng mga ganun ka situation. Yeah. Hindi yung mauna ka pa mag-panic. Uh, so, emotional intelligence ang pinag-uusapan natin yes. tungkol dyan. So, ito yung mga bagay na kailangan ma-inculcate mo sa sarili mo. Huwag mong itindihin kung anong course ang tinapos mo, anong strada tinik mo. No. Ito yung dito ka mag-focus. Ito kayo mag-focus. No? Na, na dapat um, alam mo kung, kung paano gagawin ang trabaho na to. Mm. Confidence, communication skills, social intelligence, emotional intelligence, and yung mga kailangan na ma-develop mo all throughout okay. the years na nag-prepare ka to have this kind of job. Okay. Mm. Kasi cabin... makikita yan. Makikita yan. Correct. Mm. Tapos Ina, as a cabin crew, um, and you've been flying for the airline for a long time. 18 and years! 18 years, <laughs> diba? But what does it take to really be successful in the airline industry, like in terms of your character? Yeah, so we've your... talked about the character. Yes. The traits, no? And you have to enjoy it. Okay. Enjoy it. No, um, before you actually enjoy the perks of flying, dadaan ka muna sa pagod. Okay. Sa adjusting with different time zones being away from family. So, ito yung mga bagay na kailangan accepted mo na, uh, no, na, kap, na parte ng trabaho mo. Mm. So, para magtagal ka sa industry, you have you have to be you have to have the mindset of accepting all of these things, di ba? So, yeah. pagka nagawa mo 'yon, mai-enjoy mo na lahat. Mai-enjoy mo yung trabaho. Yeah. Kasi everything na nangyayari sa eroplano, after the flight, you just leave it inside. Uh, you leave it inside. That was you go out of the aircraft, you enjoy the layover, or pag nasa the domicile ka, nasa Manila ka na, you enjoy it with family, no? Uh, you, you spend the hard-earned money that you've actually yes. got from your from flying. So, yun yun. Dun, dun ka, dun ka, dun ka matitigil eh. Dun ka talaga, what do you call this, uh, magsistay. Okay. Pag na-enjoy mo na yung flying. Tama, tama. Pagka, when you enjoy what you do, it doesn't feel work. Mm -hmm. Diba? And that's why up to now you still look and young, that's, yeah. Kasi lagi kami nakangiti. Exactly. <laughs> diba? Ganun talaga yun. As a cabin crew, Ina, have you... They, they, wait, they say though that being a cabin crew is all... is glamorous. It is, well, you know... And it's, ganun. yeah, um, it's a how you look at it. Yeah. Of course, kasi syempre, um, we, we have this kind of stigma. Yes. Diba? Na una sa lahat, ganito kasi yun. Legacy airline. Ang mga legacy airline, bakit ganito kami, ba't ganun yung uniform? Mm. Diba? Mga naka-corporate professional kami. Yeah. Business professional attire. Diba? Yung mga naka-coat or naka-jacket, no? naka-necktie, yeah. yung mga lalaki. Kasi, during the 1960s, 1970s, ang mga tao na lumilipad ay the privileged ones only. Mm. Pag lumilipad sila na aeroplano, alam mo ba, naka-Amerikana ang mga, mga tao. Yeah. Naka-corporate naka sila. Naka-business professional attire sila. Diba? Naka-Amerikana yeah. naka sila. You know that. Oh, they were well dressed during your... the 1950s. Yes. 1950s. Even if domestic flight lang yun. Yes. <laughs> Naka-Amerikana sila. That's why we have to adapt to that. I mean, I mean, we have to adapt to the profile of the passengers mm -hmm. that we take. So, kaya yung mga uniform ng mga crew is ganoan. No? Naka-business naka professional din ang dati niyan. Kasi nga, para bagay kami sa mga yeah. sa mga pasaherong sumasakay at hindi na yun na bago uh, diba? hindi na na bago talagang lahat na ng mga legacy airlines ganun na uh, well um, pero 
syempre, pagdating sa flight, di ba, nagsisilbi kami, uh, nagsiserve kami ng food, kumukuha kami ng, nagpakalag kami ng trash, naglilinis kami ng lavatories, at sinasabi uh, nila, glamorous pa rin ba yan? Uh, Actually, part talaga yung trabaho namin. Yes. And minsan nga sasabihin nga na parang highly paid, uh, ano ba, um, janitress or janitors or waiters, uh, uh, waitress, no? And sa akin kasi, since part ito ng trabaho namin, that is, I, I, cannot, I cannot be ashamed of it. Yes. Una sa lahat, ang pagiging janitor, janitress, waiter, waitress, those are decent jobs, uh, like what uh, I said. No? It pays taxes. It's a decent it job. It puts food at the yes. table. No? And it's part of, our, of the whole service industry as well. Mm. So, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's yes. part of our job. Nung pinuha namin to, alam ko na, na kailangan ko tong gawin also sa flight. Yes. And I am doing this for the passengers. Mm. Why? Because they deserve that kind of service. Yes. Why? Because hindi ko hindi, kung wala sila, wala kami. Wala kayo. Oh, Correct. So, so, why would I be ashamed of it, right? Mm. So, glamoroso ang Glamorous ang pagiging FA kasi paglabas naman namin ng eroplano, doon kami babawi. Oo, oh, layover, di ba? The fashion, no, the uh-huh. tour, di ba? All the fashion, uh, what do naman layovers na? the IGs na, ano? and all that. Kumusta <laughs> naman layovers niya? Uh... Right now, bawal pa talaga kaming lumabas. Okay. Oo, uh, sa totoo lang, uh, as much as possible, we should just be inside the hotel room. Yes. Just to protect ourselves. Yes, okay? yes. So, I don't know kailan tayo naman lilift. Oo. Uh-huh. Pero, Sa ngayon, we have to comply with that kasi uh, na, uh, for the safety also of our family whenever we go home. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Lalo pa ang US does not require anymore face mask. RT-PCR, uh, yeah, uh, pagkalilipad ka doon, wala nang, hindi na kailangan magpakita ng negative test. Uh, Sana kapag ka, uh, fully, ano ka na, wala, vaccinated. Fully vaccinated. Yes, yes, and with boosters pa, ganyan. Uh, and also, yun nga, sa US and other countries, Australia, mga ganyan, Canada, hindi na talaga sila nag-require ng face mask exactly. pagka uh, nasa open area. Uh, uh, well, yun. here na rin. <laughs> well, yes. It's so, optional. Ay, ayun na nga, matagal na kasi doon sa ibang bansa mm. eh. So, um, so it, it is discouraged uh, yes. uh, na lumabas ka. Uh, it hasn't been lifted yet. Uh, Pero, well, it's entirely up to you na rin siguro kung... Uh, you'll bite the, if you take the risk. <laughs> ganun na nga. Oo, oh, ganun na lang. Oh, so, well, I guess, ano na rin talaga, uh, you, you really have to assess everything sa yeah. pagdibid mo na rin. You have to be smart about it because the pandemic is not yet over. Mm. Actually, not Ina, speaking of passengers, um, I remember talking to one of your trainers, I think yeah. si Ma'am Lloyd. Oh, Ma'am Lloyd, ah. Yeah. Very this will always stick in my head when she said this. Every passenger has a different story. Of course, yes. And yung mga ibang stories pa na yun, maiiyak ka. Yes. Okay. And you know what? Uh, you cannot really tell what this person is going through. Mm. That's why you always just have to choose to be kind yes. all the time. No? Of and sig- siguro naman, if gusto mo maging cabin crew, ibig sabihin mabuti ang puso mo. Mm. You're a good-natured person. Yeah. Kasi sabi ko nga, being a cabin crew is uh, all part of I know a being of service to others. Yes. So if you think that you this job is for you, then that means you have that kind of calling, diba? Yes. Uh-huh. Not to be of service to others. Yun. So dapat ibig sabihin nun, you are a good natured person. Of course. Yun. So and uh, what she said is very true. Mm-hmm. Every every passenger that you have in your flight has a different story. Mm-hmm. You know? Kahit ikaw, sa uh-huh. mo, you have to wear a mask even if you're going through hell. Uh-huh. No, nasa flight ka, you have to wear a mask and still smile to other passengers. Of Kasi it's your job, no? And uh, you always have to to leave it at home. Kung ano man yung issue mo, ano ba? Mm-hmm. Because, I, I mean, the passengers don't deserve naman na sala yung... Sa sala ng problema mo, di ba? Sala yung sala yung, ah, yes, sala yung hinahan mo. Hindi naman nila alam mo oh. na pinagdadaanan mo. It's always same then. Ganon din naman sa pasahero. Ngayon, if sakali man na nagkaroon sila ng emotional outburst, mm-hmm. no? Just always remember na hindi sila galit sa iyo. Siguro uh, sa iyo ako ikaw mismo yung nakatapon sa kanila. Yes. Ikaw yung ikaw yung nakagawa ng mali o ano pa ma. But of course, we just really have to be apologetic and yes. service recovery. Pero yung mga bagay na yung mga nagkaroon sila ng mga emotional outbursts and like that. Hmm. Hindi yun, hindi yun dahil Don't take it personally. Sa'yo. Exactly. You know, you just let them breathe. Let uh, them be. Maya-maya mahihimas, masan din ang isang pasayon. Uh, Para ikaw lang din naman yung when you get disappointed because this is what you paid for and you felt short-changed. Uh, no, nangyayari naman din talaga yan. So, 
um, habaan mo yung patience mo. That's what we call empathy. When you know how to do that, when you know how to place yourself in someone else's shoes, hahaba ang pasensya mo kasi mas naiintindihan mo why is that person behaving like that? Why is that person reacting like that? No, So, kasi once na ikaw ang pumatol, uh, talo ka agad. Talo ka na agad. Kasi una sa lahat, ikaw ang service provider. Yes. Right? Ikaw, ikaw ang kumbaga ikaw dapat ang umiintend. Ikaw yung nasa tamang isip eh. Kasi uh, ikaw yung walang Diba, ikaw, ikaw dapat yung umiintend uh, That's why they say that the customer is always right. right. It's not about the customer. Uh, It's about you, us, staying professional. Yes. Kasi the moment na bumigay kami yung emotions namin sa ginagawa ng pasahero ng customer sa amin, kami ang tali. Kami uh, ang mawawala ng trabaho. Diba? Kami yung ma malalagay sa social media na nagwawalang FA. Uh, diba? Pero... Pag kayong pasahero, hinayaan mo lang, eh di maya-maya mahihimas-masan yan. May isip niya na, ba't ko ba ginawa yun? Ang bait-bait ni FA sa akin. Wala, hindi naman niya kasalanan. So sorry pa yan sa'yo. It happens all the time. It, and, uh, it happens talaga. Monda. And we're here to also explain the outside factors for you guys. I'm here yeah, to explain oh, the outside that's factors. No, no, actually, I'm very thankful about that one. Mo. Sa totoo lang, I, I'm thankful sa ginagawa mo. Like, explaining Thank you. Uh, Thank to you. everyone, how is it really, you know, with, with, with the airline industry? Well, yeah. you will find yourself in that situation. Siguro, pag turn na nila maging flight attendant, uh, you will probably find yourself in that situation. Don't take it personally. Uh, uh, I sabi ko nga, that's why you have to know how to use your emotional intelligence. High EQ dapat kailangan yes, dito. Yes, exactly. No, hindi laging personal. No, oh. kailangan you always have to take the higher ground. You always have to choose to be kind. Yes. Kasi hindi mo talaga alam niya sa kung ano pinagdadaanan ng isang tao. Uh, you have to put yourself in that person's shoes para yes. may tindihan mo bakit siya ganon nagyari ah. Oh. Valid ba? Tama uh. ba na ganon siya nagyari? Kung naisip mo na uu nga kahit sa akin mangyari uh. yung ganon din ako magyari ah, edi may tindihan yeah. mo na siya. Diba? Mas mahaba yung pasensya mo. Mas alam mo na kung paano mm. mag-respond sa behavior na pinapakita yes. niya sa hero. But, But, syempre may limit yan. Mm -hmm. May limit yan. Pagka sinasaktan ka na. Ah, of course. Pagka iba na yung gustong mangyari. And may privacy. So, yeah. So, depende sa threat level, there's a corresponding action. Yes. And always remember that you are protected by laws. Hindi lang naman ang mga cabin crew. Of course, there are certain laws that, that hmm. protects us as cabin crew. Pero kahit sa kahit anong customer service hmm. na ano naman, na trabaho, meron yan. May defamation, yes. uh, physical assault. Diba? Yes. Ano naman natin yung mga uh, It's really part. Kailangan lang talaga ng proper documentation and witnesses. Yes. Yeah. So, may hangganan. Uh, pero hanggat kaya. Diba? Be patient. Be patient. Be understanding. Be, be kind. At saka kahit sabihin natin na uh, let's say mali si pasahero mm. But we don't look on state of mind sila at that time eh Because there's some, yun nga, um, as what Ma'am Lloyda mentioned Every passenger is a different story yes. And there's some, not all passengers They not all travel for the sure Maring ba nawawala ng, ano, ng loved one yes. And they're going yes. home they're to going, that person Or naka-ICU na pala Yeah, so syempre state of mind nila diba? is Ano, so I think, as sa cabin crew, you have to learn how to be more understanding as what Ina said a while ago. Saka ano lang talaga, just treat everyone uh, kindly. Actually, that's the whole point of it. Yeah, uh, you know, you, eh, napaka, napaka ano pa naman, napaka natural pa naman sa atin na pag ito malambing ka rin nyo. So you use that. Uh, that is an asset of being a Filipino. Yes. Kasi natural sa atin yun, hospital, hospitable ka rin nyo. So, di ba? Correct. Uh, it, ayan yung mga ganyan, malambing, malambing. Napaka, napaka natural sa mga Pilipino yan. It's yes. effortless actually. So you use that. Make uh, it a asset. And don't worry because I'll be the one to explain the back end. There you go. <laughs> of, <laughs> let's say, diba? bakit kailangan sunod, sundan to, sundan to, sundan to. I'll be the one to explain that. So actually, the videos. The, yeah, so being in this industry, you just really have to follow that yes. simple rule. Yet, Ina, I, tama, just a while ago coming here, I was thinking what my next content will be mm. on maybe my website. And I was thinking the difference between being a flight attendant of a full service carrier na low cost. And when I was gathering my thoughts, parang sabi ko, malit lang yung difference eh. Actually, It's just service. Actually, wala at all. Oh, kung service yung tipong yung... Yeah. 
Mas yung lang kami. Oh. Kasi like full service, yes. yun nga, free yung food. Kami. Yes, free yung food. Of course, oh. we have a lot of things to do. No? Minsan, nagahabol oh. na kami sa landing. Hindi pa rin tapos yung ginagawa oh. namin. Yung service namin, nagkukollect pa rin kami. Yeah. And of course, pagka-budget airline siya, mas relax sila kasi oh. they're not you're not required to do those kinds of yeah. services uh, or to serve the, pe the people, no? Pero, how you treat your passengers... That's the same one. It's the same. Safety, it's the same. It's the same. Yes. It's, it's the, the same. same. It's the same. Yung pagod lang yun na iba. Uh, at saka, compared to like Cebu Pacific and... Like in Cebu Pacific, service food-wise, it's being sold on board. Like, um... Yes. You have to buy it. No? Yeah, you have to buy it. Parang ito-customize mo yung... Yung service mo. Yung, uh, yeah, yung, yung flight experience mo. Yes. Tama, tama. Because, of course, Pal is a full-service carrier and Cebu Pacific and Air Asia are low-cost carriers. Right. But in terms of your attitude, in terms of your service level, it's the same. The mindset is the same. Mindset's the same. The mindset is the same. It's always about safety and customer service. The, the moment we... We draw the curtain, or the moment we do that, it's showtime. Yeah, you know, regardless of how you doors. Feel, regardless of, <laughs> of what's going on yes. in your personal life. Set that aside. You can't we'll bring it inside the aircraft. Of course. We don't air it out to other people. <laughs> of course. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. I, I am glad that we were able to talk again. I know. With regards to this, I, I hope na uh, some of the misconceptions about being a flight attendant were, um, were already answered. Yes, were, were discussed. Um, again, there is no base course or strand uh -huh. to becoming a flight attendant. It's better actually that you really choose what you think your strength is. Uh, yes. Kung gusto mo mag nurse, kung gusto mo maging educator. Uh -huh. And then after uh, finishing your course, go ahead and try to become a flight yeah. attendant. Kasi it doesn't really matter. At least in case na magkaroon ulit ng ganito, which uh -huh. is I hope wala na. No? I hope this is the last pandemic yeah. that we're going to have in this lifetime. I hope, I hope. Yeah may fall back pa. Uh, uh, diba? Hindi yung sa, nagsara na lahat ng ano mo kasi nakas, nakafocus ka lang sa uh, tourism industry. At least may fall back kayo. Yeah. Are there things that you could do aside from being a flight attendant? Exactly. Oh, yeah. And that's what makes the airline industry more interesting because when you become a habit group, you talk to colleagues of different background. So, may from tourism, mm. meron from communication arts, mm. I heard meron from accountancy. Accountancy. Merong IT. Yes. But, lahat. Ah, all, all, for, <laughs> actually, <laughs> lahat, lahat. All walks of life. Talagang, oh. ang dami. Meron kami mga nag-dentistry na at lahat. Yes. Naging flight attendant din. No? Uh, Nag-prelo, pero oh. flight attendant siya. Yun talaga yung ano oh. niya. Yun talaga yung gusto niya. Yung calling niya. Gusto oh, niya. Oh, calling niya talaga yan. So, again, yes. Customer service is a calling. Yes. And it's, it's a like very it's interesting industry. It's not, it's not for everyone. Uh, <laughs> must have patience. <laughs> patience. Ay, we have adaptability. Yeah, you have to yeah. deal with different people, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Talaga. Yeah, talaga. So thank you so much, Ina, oh, for and thank you so being much, here. Hi, I am so happy again. We're back. To, <laughs> to talk to this cool guy right here. And to this cool lady over <laughs> here also. <laughs> Na ulit oh, kayo. Oh, and it's 2022. It's we're, we're yeah. done. It's 2022, and we are back, everyone. Ay. And, and we because we're doing this, we're of course, excited. because the airline industry is opening, and your chance to become a habit group is here. Slowly, oh, dumadami na. Yes, thank God. You know, I diba? mean, I mean, it's all coming back to us now. And it's fast. <laughs> Yes, it's so yes. Fast. And it's exciting actually. It's actually, exciting. Oh. Parang feeling ko maraming nag-open na doors just because of, uh, yes. of this. No? Oh. Ang dami, ang dami nag-open ng doors. Tayo na doon sa mga retrench natin na cabin crew. Oh. Diba? Kasi biglang nag-open na naman ng buong mundo. Yes. Looking for cabin crew. So at least they have, hmm. they have choices. Especially for our um, aspirants who really have been dreaming of becoming yes. a flight attendant since they were a yes. kid. Yes. Exactly. Grabbing opportunities yes. now. Ah, nakakatawa. Sobra! And expect more 2023 because 2023 is when we will experience the full effect of the recovery. More borders will open. Ah, more country exciting. borders will open. Yes. More airlines will take delivery of new aircraft. Oh. More routes will open. So if you feel that you cannot become a cabin crew yet this year, don't worry. More opportunities will come in 2023 and beyond. 
look at that. Is it something to look forward of to? Of course. Yeah. That's why, if you're trying to become a cabin crew now, keep going, keep pushing for your dream. Yes, you I have Ina here, it all came from her. She's giving you tips and advice, and we are always here to support yeah, your careers. Yeah, and stay tuned to Mall RPS. He has the in and outs of the aviation industry, thank you, so you'll thank be you. in the know all the time. Yes, do you yeah. also have any TikTok, social well, media? Actually, I still have my Facebook page. All right. It's a wonderingmom.ph. As always, andyan lang naman yan. <laughs> yes. Wonderingmom.ph for my Facebook page. And of course, the Binibining Ina Ramos, the BB.Ina Ramos for my TikTok. All right. Yes. Uh, so, follow niya rin si Ina Ramos. Ay, sige. Tara, sa kausap tayo doon. Tulitin niyo ako doon. Mga lovies. Naman. Ay, Mga lovies. Ha, <laughs> It's so it feels so good to be back actually, Ina. Actually, yeah. It feels so good to it's be nice back to and to do this again. Sabay pa tayo. Yeah. You always take care, Mod, and I'm really glad that we get to talk again like this. Of um, course. Thank them. you also, Ina, for being part of this uh, last pleasure. minute vlog. <laughs> always a pleasure. Of course. We'll see you guys again. See you guys again. See you around and be safe, everyone. Love you, be safe. Bye, everyone. <laughs>